you for tuning in to this episode of Rare on Air Stories. In this weekly series, we will shine a light on the stories of people living with a rare disease. I'm your host, Lise Pernin, and in today's episode, we will hear Dan's story. My name is Dan, US Navy veteran and 10-year hereditary colon cancer warrior with a permanent ileostomy. In May 2012, while I resided in Hawaii, my first and only colonoscopy at the age of 51 was performed. The results revealed 100 polyps embedded throughout my colon, rectum, and anus. Based on these findings, I visited a certified genetic counsellor. Germline DNA sequencing testing was initiated. I was asymptomatic and had no family history. My certified genetic counsellor and colorectal surgeon at Triple Army Medical Center, Hawaii, encouraged me to read about the gene mutation they suspected I had. This would allow me an opportunity to better familiarize myself with what is considered life-saving surgery as well as a life-changing event. The results revealed the diagnosis of attenuated familial adenomatous polyposis, AFAP, which is an autosomal dominant germline mutation. It is estimated to impact less than 0.03% of the global population. It's important to note Dr. Henry T. Lynch, the founding father of hereditary colon cancer research, is credited with the discovery of AFAP. My certified genetic counsellor and colorectal surgeon were colleagues of Dr. Lynch. Based on these findings, it was in his best practice of medicine to have total proctocolectomy surgery with a permanent ileostomy. Surgery was successful, performed at an army medical centre in the days following the diagnosis. My mindset was, and continues to be, I tend not to think about things out of my control, such as medical concerns. What I can control is my attitude. After five decades on God's green earth, my positive attitude has brought me this far, so why change now? During the nine-week recovery process, my focus was to keep my brain busy. Reaching out to numerous organizations nationally and internationally better prepared me for life as an ostomate with a rare gene mutation. Sharing my journey as a source of inspiration is important to me. Shortly after my successful colon surgery, I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Henry T. Lynch while he was in Hawaii conducting academic lectures on hereditary colon cancer research. He considered me a colleague and we communicated via email through the years, monitoring my AFEP routine surveillance pathology reports. From the onset, my response was to embrace his condition and adapt to life as an ostomate. Maintaining a positive attitude and having strong faith made a significant impact on my ability to overcome adversity. I've adopted the following four words during my recovery to reflect on. Attitude, 100%. By maintaining a positive attitude, it allows for a better chance of overcoming adversity. Faith, I created the following acronym. Full assurance influenced through hope. Faith. Having faith is eminence of the unseen. Hence, having hope that things turn out good. Adapt. Here's my acronym for what it means to me as an ostomate. Attitude determines the ability for a positive transformation. And then finally, purpose. My purpose is being an AFAP live case presentation and to educate the medical students and professionals, continuing the legacy of Dr. Henry T. Lynch on the importance of early detection in the hope of saving lives. I'm a global hereditary colon cancer live case presenter. Recently, I was invited to be a member of the University of Michigan Hereditary Genetic Testing Advisory Board. I'm an annual live case presentation for the University of Texas Health Center, San Antonio, Texas, Genetics in GI Malignancy Multidisciplinary Conference. Recently, I underwent successful pancreas sparing duodenectomy resection surgery at Stanford University Hospital. This surgery is directly related to my AFAP diagnosis. In closing, I recall an old cliche. It's been said you can lead a horse to water, However, you can't make it drink. Though as I discovered, you can influence the horse to drink by feeding its salt along the way. My hopes are by sharing the story, it will serve as a source of salt for those who read it. Always forge ahead with a purpose. You have been listening to an episode of Rare On Air Stories, a weekly bonus series of Rare On Air, a monthly podcast by Eurodis Rare Diseases Europe. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, you can listen to one of our weekly episodes that are published throughout the Rare Disease Day campaign. 
If you would like us to feature your story in this podcast and on our social media channels, don't hesitate to submit it on our website. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs>